Hi, I'm Phyllis from The Doll Corner and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to show you another easy block to put together for beginners or anyone. It makes a nice quilt and you can make it any size you want. You could make a table runner, you could make plate mat, place mats, just whatever you would like. But it's an easy block and <clears throat> you want to make sure your fabric is cut straight and in the beginning of the series, I showed you how to get your blocks nice and square and how to practice making a quarter inch seam. So if you haven't seen that series, the, those videos that came before, um, check those out and just make sure they're, they're for a beginner quilter, but if anybody wants to watch them, they're quite welcome to. So be sure and subscribe, touch my bell, touch the bell to be notified and uh, check out my Etsy shop for my basic doll pattern book. If you're sewing doll patterns, it's an easy, an easy book to make all sizes of doll patterns, the dolls close with. With that said, uh, this is the quilt block and to make, I like to make strip sets and if you have a few pieces of strips, just sew them together. I've even joined this one and then put four block. you could put five pieces together depending on the size of a block you want. I've made these two inches, my strip sets, uh, the strips, and I made sure they were straight and I sewed my quarter inch seam and they come out about in five and a half inches. If you can put, these pieces are two and a half inch uh, pieces and just sew them together like this. But these are too short for a block unless I made them shorter. If I made them shorter, I could make a quilt block with these. But So now when I've got this strip set sewn together, I line it up on my cutting mat. And it's not quite even. Where did my ruler go? There we are. And I line it up along. And you can check to see if you want to, you can line it up. You should line it up along the center seam here. And then if that's running straight, then and now I want my block five and a quarter, five and a half, sorry. So my five inches comes to there. So I need to go here. And I cut this off like this. And uh, gives me my blocks. So this is my pieces that I cut off and then you put them together. One goes one way and one goes the other way. I should put it this way. Or you can make, uh, it's more scrappy, and we could make two like that. Or if we wanted, um, Just 
just alternating them. Now, if you wanted to, if you make them all the same, take this one out, turn this one this way, that's another way of putting them together. Uh, for the true two rail fence you can see how this will work down here and then This is your rail fence. A rail fence was used, the farmers used it to keep their cattle in, and divide your, their fields off. They're not used very much anymore, but they would go to the bush and cut out some rails and they would put two posts here and two posts here and then they'd stack their rails up between. And they work well, and the cedar posts lasted for years and years and years, but they did get knocked over in the snow in the winter time. And there are still a few rail fences out there, but there's not many. So that's what they considered a rail fence. And this is what, what the name, these were named after. But if you wanted to, you wouldn't have to make this go up. You could make a a plane you could put a plain square of fabric in here. Or if you were making a, wanted to add some interest to it, you could put a plain one in applique, a little picture, or use a fabric, say it had a cat on it or dog or something in each one of those. And that would be cute too. But you can see the empty empty the plain blocks would fit in here so it's a fun block it's easy to put together and uh, if you have any other questions about it let me know leave me a comment email me and be sure and subscribe and if you have any questions email me at Build on no <laughs> at doll fashion seventy seven at gmail dot com and check out the link for my Etsy shop on my link below and thanks for watching bye now.